In this video, we will create a trade agreement journal. Trade agreements are fixed price or discount agreements that are set up for one or more customers to enable the sale of individual or multiple products. So to create a trade agreement journal, we'll go to sales and marketing, prices and discounts, trade agreement journals. And we'll click new to create a new journal and we'll enter the name. We'll select the sales price adjustment, which is used to define a sales price. And the description is entered automatically, though we can edit if necessary. And to open the journal, we'll click lines. Now, firstly, the account code refers to the customers to which this relation will apply. We can keep all customers or select a specific customer with table and this will allow us to choose from our customer accounts list. Or we can specify a group which will allow us to select from our predefined customer groups and we'll choose retail. Now the item code specifies the set of items to which the agreement applies. Again, we can choose between all items, a group of items or table, which allows us to select a specific item from our list and we'll choose the HDMI cables here. Now, if this item is set up with product dimensions, we'll be able to specify configuration, size, color, and style. And if its inventory dimensions are active, we'll also be able to specify a specific site and warehouse. In the from and to fields, we set the quantity limits, so we'll enter one in from and we'll leave the two field blank. So the agreement applies to all quantities. The inventory unit field defaults to pieces and for currency, we'll enter 20 US dollars. And the rest we'll leave for now. The details fast tab allows us to enter a date range for exactly when the sales price will be effective. We'll choose today. Here we can enter any additional charges to be, to be applied to the sales price. And here are options regarding delivery time. The find next toggle allows us to find and also apply other relevant trade agreements. Now, once we've finished, we can select validate and we are going to validate all lines. We'll click OK. And once the agreement is validated. We need to post the journal to put the trade agreement into effect and we will post. We can also create a trade agreement journal by importing existing journal lines into the trade agreement. We do this by clicking select and here we can specify the selection criteria to import existing journal lines, such as relationship type and date range. By selecting table here, we can find all the journal lines for this particular supplier. And we'll select, it will find an import all the lines according to our criteria. 
And now we can manually update these lines as needed. Or we can do a mass update by clicking adjustment and selecting adjustment from the drop down. And here in the price adjustment parameters, we can specify an adjustment as a percentage or a fixed amount. And when we're finished, we can batch update and validate and post as we did before. We can also edit trade agreements direct from a customer record. If we go to sales and marketing again and all customers, we'll choose the customer and we'll go sell trade agreements, agreements, we'll find the line that we wish to edit and we'll select edit selected lines and click OK. And now we'll be able to edit this journal and once we've finished again we'll validate and post.